Hi, we got a fantastic new catio. It comes to us from Agbatubin and it shows up in two big boxes. They are packed such that you do need both boxes to build it. You can't just start with the pieces from box one. Here they are packed nicely in the box. Here I sorted them according to their different sizes. There's different variants of every size, but um, generally there's a few different sizes. The small screen, the big screen, the square screens, different levels of sizes of shelves. There's the roof. And then a bunch of brackets over there. And the instruction manual and screws. That's my screwdriver though. That's not included. What I really like is how those screws are packaged and labeled nicely. Step one, the front door. Here I lay everything out just to make sure it's in the right spot going together correctly. The center panels have these nice dowels. It helps everything line up nicely. There are pre-drilled holes for all the screws to go into. Here's the top half put together. And the bottom half. And the complete wall. And moving on to the back wall. I'm doing this one on cardboard so that grass doesn't get in between the pieces. This is the way it's supposed to go together. You'll see why later, but I am going to flip these panels. Surprisingly, the dowels still line up. The only downside I see to this modification is now the horizontal seams all line up for all three panels. So it is a little less sturdy than when they are staggered. But when you put it all together, it seems perfectly fine. Now moving on to the side walls. Here is one wall made of four panels. No dowels on this one, but they still go together pretty easily. And now we have all four walls. Time to put them together. The back wall goes up. The side walls get attached. Again, no dowels, so you just have to make sure you're holding them in place tight. Now we have a freestanding structure with three walls. Now let's take a moment to look at the back door, which is supposed to be on the top, but now it's on the bottom. One side effect of this is that the latch is now upside down which means you can kind of jiggle the loose. If you wanted to fix this, all you have to do is take off the latch and flip it upside down. But this isn't gonna be a problem for us. And now we go back and put in the shelves, which was supposed to be done while the walls were being built and they were separate, but I figured it'd be easier to do it when the walls were standing up. This does turn this into a two person task but technically this is a two-person build from the start, so. Now we screw on the shelves, which is pretty straightforward. Next up, we have a couple of shelters that will be going inside. They're essentially open-ended boxes, which cats usually love. They go together exactly the same, and they get dropped right here. They get screwed in from the bottom, which is only a little bit awkward. Finally, time to attach the front wall and make it an enclosure. Make sure everything's lined up when attaching them. And done. Now we have a four-walled unit with a working door. with a slight learning curve on my part. Oh yeah, there's also a roof. One of the improved features they call out is the ability to angle the roof, so it's not just flat. You do that by adding a couple of extra pieces of wood to lift up one side. And some angled pieces on the side. and the actual roof, which comes in three pieces. No dowels, but they do have these marker pieces that let you line them up in the corners nicely. 
they have a, an asphalt type covering on the top which makes it look nice and waterproof. They even have a couple of pieces of wood to put over top of the seams. Just to make sure the rain stays out. And we're done! Wait a minute, there's something missing. We forgot one last shelf. There we go, that's better. Now let's take a look at that back door where Scarlet happens to be waiting. See, they already have this tent like chute that they get to hang out in. What we're gonna do is connect them. That way the cats can come and go whenever they like. We added an extra piece of wood on top just because there's a little bit of a gap that we didn't want to leave open. There you see it all connected. All we need to do is open the window and they can run out of the house, through the tunnel, into the brand new catio. This cube turns into an entryway where they can go in and out of these side holes. Now let's see how the cats like it. Percy is the first one to explore the brand new territory. Going in very slowly and deliberately. Oh, this is new for them, getting to touch grass directly. Prior to this, they only really got to touch it through the tent. Scarlet found her way in here too. Oh, I see Beans on his way in here too. Cats love new areas to explore, so I am sure they are enjoying this. This catio is simply amazing. It is well designed, well constructed, plenty of ledges for them to hang out on, lots of different levels that the cats love. Coincidentally, this got completed on Scarlett's birthday. So, it's as if she's having a birthday party out here, with all her friends. It's her third birthday. Scarlett's still out here. Ralph, meanwhile, found his way out here. I don't think I can express just how much these cats seem to love their new catio. It is amazing. Beans gets to eat grass for the first time. How's that salad tasting?
Scarlet is out here pretty much all day long. She even takes her naps out here. Now once again, I must say, this cat enclosure is just awesome. And the cats simply love it. Huge thanks to Avatubin. And you can use code NELSON5 to get 5% off the purchase of your very own catio. The link is in the description.